The plane is the boss. Darren the plane. Not this plane, but the plane you're going to swing on. Now, let's just say this is the plane angle that I'm going to come down on. I'm going to be very close to maybe an elbow plane. The talk is, what do you do with your hips? Now, a lot of talk about hip turn. For years and years and years and years, all these pop golf instructors said, you got to keep your right knee bent. You got to keep your right knee bent. The end of the world if you straighten your right knee. Baloney, right? Sam Snead, 84 tournaments. Pretty darn straight right knee. Uh, Jack Nicklaus kept his knee bent, and he had hip replacement, <laughs> hip replacement surgery. So, uh, you know, but he still turned his hip. Okay, here's how I deal with hip we got a guy yesterday, really nice guy, he's taken probably eight lessons from me over the last three or four years, getting better, uh, cutting his driver, really when he showed up, probably on about five yards, trying to get to the inside of the ball so he can turn it over. We had a very successful lesson. He needs to get to the inside of the ball. Now he sets up like this, so his shoulder can never reach the, the turn shoulder point. So he's above the plane, and then he tries to get back on the plane, he gets on the sweet spot a little bit, and he hits a fade. Very common. So as a teacher, I do whatever it is I need to do to get that right shoulder in position for that golfer to get on whatever plane angle and plane line we're trying to draw through the ball. That's what you do with your hips. Whatever the heck you need to do with your hips. So let's say, this gentleman did a lot better once he was set up with almost closed hips at a dress. And then absolutely hit it better by straightening his right leg some, not a lot, not as much as I've taught some people to do, but some, which does slant the hips more. See, as I, as I bend my right knee, that changes the hip slant. I don't know how somebody can't see that. <laughs> Moves my rear end further back this way when I straighten it. So as the front part doesn't move all that much, it changes the hips. One of the reasons why I think it's good to straighten the leg, it helps you with hip slant. But I had a lot of students that played perfectly well with very, very level hips and, and a fairly bent knee. You do it to, to, to accommodate the pattern. So what this gentleman did is all of a sudden now, with, with a slightly closed hips and fairly square shoulders, he was able to reach the plane he needed to be on the top of the swing so he could deliver the ball down plane, hit the nicest little draws you ever saw. That's what you do. You put yourself or your student in a position where they can get in the right position at impact. That's what you do with your hips. All this baloney about that you have to slant them or you have to not slant them. There's just way too many exceptions. You do whatever works. And I'll see you back on here probably talking about hips sometime soon because there'll be somebody else that comes down the pike with the answer to the hips.